Hello, this is the second part to the four race video that I made and it's been about a hundred years since then so you can go watch that video if you want to see what happened and then come back to this one but this is just this will probably be a quicker video too because they're just gonna go to war I'm just gonna make them go to war because they want it to be really peaceful and I don't really want that and they both have really big armies too so we're just gonna document their warmongering and there we go the humans or the doors have declared war on the humans and the doors are immediately sending in this huge army um, to go attack the humans who are oh they have archers here trying doing their best to stop their movements am i crazy or the dwarves actually short someone please tell me if the dwarves are really short or are they not because they don't have the tiny trait but they just look extremely small compared to the humans am i crazy uh, so this, they actually have a nice size army up here in this little, um, this small dwarf village up here. And it's kind of just chaos. All the armies are going in and attacking. This is where, like, one of the main battles is happening. This army is not really doing much. I think they're trying to stop the archers here, but then they're splitting off here to go and, like, slaughter civilians. And then the humans are doing pretty well at stopping the dwarves. The dwarves aren't very efficient at anything. They have a little bit more health than the humans. They have 50 more health, but they, they're not. And an orc village was destroyed, and it was this. This was their weakest village right here, so I expected that. Now the humans are killing the rest of them. There's the king. The king is actually joined in the battle. What weapon does he have? A stick. He has a sword blade. I don't know what that is, but it's a legendary weapon and good for him. Go defend your people. And now a human village was destroyed up here. Um, so it's pretty even right now. I wonder what, so the dwarves have 75 army and the humans have only 29. So, so far the humans are winning the war. Or no, so far the dwarves are gonna win long term because they have more army. So they should definitely win and the population is bigger. So the dwarves really did just devastate the humans. Their first little attack, yes, and they're marching into more human land. Yeah, this is just a huge army right here, and I don't think they're going to be able to really do much to stop the dwarves. Alright, and the dwarves are finishing off this village here in the middle of... And they destroyed that village, and now there's a new king of the humans because he probably died in battle. Yep, this huge dwarf force. They just ended the king of the humans. I wonder if... They're not at the point where they need to start electing children for the king, do they? Yeah, there's still- there's a king. There's some stability, but not much. They have nine army left, and the dwarves have barely been touched. They have 75 army. And if you watch the first video, of part, the part one to this video, I thought that the humans had- I mean, they should have wiped out the dwarves when they had the chance, because they did have the chance. And then here's more- more fight. Now the dwarves have learned how to use bows and arrows. That's not good for the humans. Um, they- humans shockingly managed to destroy a city here, but then they just lost their capital. Yeah, they just had to- I'm sure they had to move their capital to here. Unless this was the capital already, and I'm just confused. In this city, I'm- this city over here, I'm really surprised that it still stands, but they have a really strong army, I guess, so. Yeah, this man is 53. He's- is, are there any- do the dwarves have women? Are there any women dwarves? I don't get why the dwarves don't like women. There's just none- in existence they're all they're all men for some reason and the dwarves are extremely cocky just making cities as they're destroying the humans and then a new king was destroyed from the humans and then the, a king abandoned the humans and now the humans have been destroyed there's like one is this one left yeah there's one left and he just died and i believe that is it for the human kingdom no there's five five of them left i don't know how to find them i don't have the skills to do that Maybe if I just look, we can play Where's Waldo, try to find those last humans. They don't have a city. It doesn't really matter. The dwarves are on top with uh, 200 people. They've only lost maybe about like 150 people in this war, and they still have armies everywhere, which aren't even that depleted. But this guy's starving, it looks like. Are you starving? Yes, you're starving. And he's a giant. That's crazy. I didn't know there could be giant dwarves. Well, congratulations to the dwarves, and...